I was going to talk about Carlos Gonzalez. Like, okay. th- we just, this is really yeah. a Rockies episode now, apparently. Um, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I wanted to talk because, like, um, kind of like what you're saying, I feel like when you think of the early 2010s Rockies, it's always like Tulowitzki. Um, and Gonzalez was mm-hmm. freaking, it's freaking good. Um, yeah. So I'm looking at 2010 to 2016, average 126 games played. So, you know, clearly got into right. a lot. Um, 26 homers, 86 RBIs, 888 OPS. You know, I mean, again, like those are misleading. He like per 162, he was right like, exactly. than that. Um, so 2010, he finished his third in MVP voting. He won the batting title with 336, um, 34 homers, 117 RBIs. 2015, um, he hits 40 homers. Only made three All Star games. That I also feel like is misleading. <laughs> like for example, his and his that 2010 year I just mentioned, he wasn't in the All Star game. So I, I feel like that's not really like that's <laughs> barometer. I guess it's like if yeah. you have a hot second half, you don't like you right. get in. Um, but the point point is, um, three All Star games, three Gold Gloves. Um, fell off after 2016. He was only like 30, um, but he, he really mm-hmm. fell off. Um, but before that was great. Um, and for all those people who are like, oh, it's cores, you know, it's just great because he's cores. Right. Um, you actually have a point, unfortunately. <laughs> His career <laughs> OPS on the road was 724. So he was like, really? a, he was like an average player on the road. Um, <laughs> oh, I didn't know that actually. That's no, kind of like I wish it was that he's not like, um, like Larry Walker, I feel like was like the one mm-hmm. guy who like broke that. Maybe there was some more, I don't know, but but yeah, so still super fun to watch um yeah always like i, I felt like whenever the all-star game was on it was always him and i can't remember who, like like stanton and the outfit like they were just like yeah. staples out there um but yeah definitely someone I, I i think about with that like growing up oh yeah uh cargo was so fun to watch i mean he whenever he hit a homer like he knew it too and like he yeah. would do the thing where he would like do a full swing and just like drop his bat like so nonchalantly. Like it was awesome. Oh, yeah. Do you remember that? Like he was the king of that. It was like awesome. <laughs> um, I mean, honestly, I know that Cano, everyone said he had like the sweetest swing of a left handed hitter, but Cargo to me, I mean, I loved that swing, man. It was so good. Um, it was fun to watch, man. Because honestly, when he would make contact, it was just like, <laughs> I mean, in Colorado, especially, that ball yeah. would just not land. Like that would just go thousand feet like it was crazy um i didn't know he was good defensive as good defensively as he was i didn't know he won three no. gold gloves especially no, yeah. playing in colorado too he had to have a lot of range like to really play in that outfield so yeah i mean yeah i mean like we said just one of those big what ifs like what if him and tula just stayed healthy <laughs> yeah. um if they had some pitching around them you know never know but it was uh it yeah. was a fun era like i definitely like looking back at those those years oh yeah definitely cargo was really really fun to watch i would have been nice i don't think he ever did a home run derby but that would have been a cool thing to see too. oh maybe that's weird yeah maybe i, 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 like I don't know if he did any shit. yeah huh. yeah 